having an asthma attack is, is almost like drowning in air. Um, you feel like someone's squeezed all the air out of your lungs and you just can't take any, any air in. And it's just like someone's suffocating you. It's quite painful actually. It, it really hurts. Um, it, it just feels like you've got a big rude band around your chest. You know, it's, or like a big steel thing around your chest and it's just getting uh, tighter and tighter. in my form and there's about 16 of them who have asthma and there's one boy who's really bad and he's he's always off school you know like I think last year he had 71 days off school with asthma nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide carbon monoxide to all forms of air pollution but in particular we are interested in road traffic pollution and our OPSIS system was installed in 1989 to look at road traffic pollution in the city centre. We're measuring sulphur dioxide, ozone, nitrogen dioxide and a range of hydrocarbons and all of those gases we're particularly interested in because they come primarily from road traffic, road traffic pollution. The general feeling is now that um, the various pollutants that we are measuring do cause respiratory problems um, in people who already have respiratory disease. So when there's higher levels of ozone or higher levels of nitrogen dioxide out in the community, this will make people with respiratory disease worse. It's very easy to think that you don't have an individual uh, effect on your own environment, but air quality is increasingly being shown to be one where people, individuals, have an immediate effect.
to breathe to take air in and blow air out through the nose or mouth. He could not breathe underwater. He breathed in the smoke from the fire and it made him cough. The patient has begun to Thank you.